In this media, you will learn about radar gauges. Radar gauge is a type of tank gauging equipment. As the name suggests, this device works under the principle of radar. Radar type liquid level gauges have been specifically developed for LNG tankers. Radar gauges work under very high frequencies of about 11 GHz. Thus, you have learned about radar gauges. In this media, you will learn about the liquid level gauges. Every LNG tank must be fitted with a liquid level gauge. The classification of gauges as per the IMO codes is listed as below. 1. Indirect systems. Example. Weighing or pipe flow meters. 2. Closed devices without contact. Example. Ultrasonic or radioisotope sources. 3. Closed devices with contact. Example. Float gauges, bubble indicators, and so on. 4. Restricted devices. These devices penetrate into the LNG tank and release small amount of liquid or vapor. Example, fixed or slip tube gauges. Thus, you have learned about the liquid level gauges. In this media, you will learn about the float gauges. Float gauge is a commonly used device in most of the tankers. Float gauges can only record liquid level greater than 4 inches. The float gauge consists of a float. The float is connected to an indicating device by a tape. This enables local and remote readout in the float gauge. The float gauge is also provided with a gate valve. This allows the isolation of the float gauge so that it can be serviced in a safe environment. The float should be taken out from the liquid level when not in use. Continuous exposure to the fluctuation in level can damage the tape tensioning device. Thus, you have learned about the float gauges. In this media, you will learn about the nitrogen bubbler gauge. The LNG tank is mounted vertically with a small bore tube. This is the nitrogen bubbler gauge. Nitrogen bubbler gauge consists of a tube with a liquid. Nitrogen bubbler gauge determines the pressure required to displace the liquid from this tube. Nitrogen is passed through this tube so that it just begins to bubble at the bottom. The prevailing pressure is the function of liquid density and liquid level. If the density of the LNG in the tank is known, the pressure reading can be obtained directly. Otherwise, the density of the LNG is calculated by placing two such tubes side by side with known vertical distance. Thus, you have learned about the nitrogen bubbler gauge. In this media, you will learn about the differential pressure gauge. Differential pressure gauges can be used in ships only if the tank is above the deck. Inert gas is passed through the signal lines of this device. This gauge works based on the differential pressure between the vapor and liquid. Thus, you have learned about the differential pressure gauge. 